We're taking a look at the Cryo Rig H7, and this is a beautiful CPU air cooler. This is the air cooler that's meant to be easy. Easy access, open the box, and it's installation within four minutes. It also works with AMD sockets from FM1 all the way to AM3+. It works with Intel 1150 socket all the way to 1156, and we're gonna be bench testing this CPU air cooler with a 6700K process by Intel, just to see what it's gonna be like and the temperatures as well is what I'm going to talk about in the video. So, let's get on with it. We've got the CPU air cooler on the test bench. It literally did only take four minutes to actually assemble. You've got the brackets already on the CPU air cooler. The fan's already on there, which is 120 mil fan. And it's got like brackets that hold onto the CPU air cooler itself. CPU air cooler looks really nice. It looks like it can pass airflow in there, no problem. Um, the back is a uh, nickel plated and it's got great contact to the CPU air cooler. The CPU, um, thermal grease that we got as well that you normally get in the box. I think it was a CP7. It's like really nice. It wasn't too hard, too thick. It went on really nice and it just made great contact. But let's get straight on with why we've got it here onto this actual test bench. So we're going to be using Prime 95. We've got Microsoft's like um, graph here to show that I haven't got it overclocked. There's no more extra voltages. Nothing's overclocked. It's just straightforward. You get a CPU, air, a CPU um, out straight onto the test bench and then we're going to test it. So I've got crucial 3000 megahertz um, RAM DDR4. I've got a gigabyte motherboard and that is H170 HD3. So it's great for just general use and stuff like that. And you can do a little bit of overclocking, but not too major, just like overclocking by uh, BLCK. So we've got CPU ID running as um, a program on the background, just to show it's not overclocked or anything. Uh, the CPU is clocked at four gigahertz. Um, so it shows it's not overclocked, as you can see on the screen. Um, we're using onboard graphics. We're not using any graphics cards or anything like that. And obviously, it's an open out bench, so the CPU cooler is just flown about. And temperatures at the moment around today is around 19 degrees. And on my test bench, CPU is idling at 24 degrees to 26 degrees. And we really want to keep the temperature as low as possible. So that's what we got it on a test bench. We want to obviously ramp it up and really stress test the CPU and see how quiet it is and how much temperature it can handle. Even though it's really quite easy to put together. Let's get on with it. So I'm going to just strike up Prime 95 to stress test the CPU. And at the moment, it's gone up a little bit, but nothing really annoying or anything like that. So let's have a look at the CPU temperature. Where is it? So we've instantly hit 65 degrees and 64 minimum. But we're going to run this test for f uh, five minutes and then find out how well it's going to do. Right, so we've still got the CPU air cooler going on the actual platform or the wet bench. And at the moment, we're peaking at around, well, minimum 67 degrees to 68 degrees. Uh, fan ratio speed is at 1486 rotations per minute, which is okay. It's, you can hear it, but if it's in a case, it'll be okay. But you can also put another fan on there, so you can have another 120 mil fan, but it's meant to be affinity clearance for your RAM. So just to let you know all about that, when you buy the CPU coolers, it's definitely RAM ready. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to ramp down the voltage, uh, not voltage, I'm gonna stop Prime 95 and see how quiet it goes and what the fan will go down to. So I'll go stop. That is near enough super quiet. That is one of the quietest CPU air coolers I've actually heard in a very, very long time. But when it ramps up, it does make a little noise, but it's not too bad. In a case, it'll be okay. 
Um, the rotations per minute from the fan now is around 620 rotations per minute. And uh, the core temperature of the CPU uh, cores, we've got a minimum of 25 degrees to 26 degrees. That's what it's idling at. Really quite cool, quite impressed with that. So we're going to take a look at my chart, the CPU air coolers that we've already tested and see where the H7 cryo rig actually fits in. So that was a temperature around 65 to 66 degrees. So it is um, around where the Ryzen Tech is and where the Cyphuma is. So it's not too bad, but it's not as good as the H5 or the R1 cryo rigs or the Scythe Mugen Max. But it's still in the top uh, category of keeping your CPU cool. For its price point as well at £38 still puts it into the middle category which is not a bad buy for a CPU cooler. Maybe other places might do it a little bit cheaper. Links will be in the description down below. If you like this video give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like it dislike it but leave a comment and let me know what other CPU coolers you've got or if you have any problems and I'll see you in the next one with more amazing videos or CPU cooler testing or anything I'm doing. I don't, I don't really know. I'm, I'm going now anyway. Thanks. Thanks for watching.